I have had the pleasure of knowing Kim for over 40 years. So I first met Kim when I went to work at Durham Pediatrics. Patients and families just loved her and adored her. She was able to connect so well with everybody in the family and she always remembered everybody's names and everything about them. Kim is such a gift to Ronald McDonald House. She has this intuitive way of knowing exactly what people need when they walk in the front door. She has spent many years with us as a therapy dog person, uh, but also as the welcome volunteer at the front desk, and she is always on point. But I just have to say, most of all, uh, my team, whenever they walk in and they see Kim is at the front desk, everybody's just filled with joy because they know their day is gonna be a little bit better and everybody feels like it's gonna be okay. Kim's here. We have had a wonderful program at Bailiwick called See Spot Read, where students would get to come into the library and practice their reading with a therapy dog. Kim was one of our wonderful volunteers that would come in and bring her dog Sherman and the students absolutely loved practicing their reading and getting to talk to the dog. Miss Kim has always supported our staff along with Soapstone. She always has made little things for us every month. Um, today we actually got one that says, take note, it's going to be a great school year. It is on a sticky notepad, but every month she makes sure that she brings something in for our staff. And one of the programs that I worked with Kim with is that she did the lunch buddies and her and her husband would come in and they would sit with students who maybe needed a mentor and they for like 20 30 minutes would sit and talk and eat lunch with them but students loved it they appreciated their time and kim was so supportive of all our students and staff and our school community and we just love her so much and the students love her as well i would like to see, i i hope i get to see her again sometime soon just to tell her that um she has truly been a huge part of my life but not only that i also don't want her kindness to go away because the, the world needs more people like Miss Kim, in all honesty. She really lives her faith through her actions. Um, she is so kind and compassionate. Um, she spent her career as a pediatric nurse. Well, I think like everyone who knows Kim, we would like her to get a living donor before she needs dialysis because that will impact her success and for her to be able to go back to living her life on her terms. She wants to be able to continue to volunteer at Ronald McDonald House. She wants to be a part of her church community and, um, and she has been so limited um, for the past few years. And I hope she always remembers that her kindness changed lives in every single way. My hope for Kim is like everyone's hope for Kim, that she finds her miracle. Kim is, for the first time, on the other side of this medical situation. No one ever expects to be there, and we certainly never expected it to be Kim. So clearly everyone wants her to find her miracle and for her to be able to bring the joy that she brings to everyone in life. Um, I think in addition to that, what's more important to me and to the kids that she's helped, I've talked with a couple of them this week, two of them who waited for kidneys for a total of seven years combined, living with us that whole time, and she was so important to both of them. Our wish for her is that she feel just a fraction of the welcome, the love, the comfort that she has offered so many other people. If she has that, that'll be a win. I feel honored to have been not only a colleague with Kim, but to have her as a very dear friend. She's one of those gifts that you get in life. Um, one of those people you meet that just make your life so much better. So thank you.